So, what is going on, YouTube? Your boy Sam from Team Zarex one here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with my updated Blue Eyes White Dragon for the September 17th, 2018 balance. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. You guys are on that Blue Eyes has to be one of my favorite decks of all time, and it's one of the decks that I just love to play. Deck is actually very fun, very nostalgic, and it's also very competitive as well. I'll showcase you guys the main deck, extra deck, and obviously explain to you guys my side deck and my card choices to combat against today's metagame. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, guys, this week I launched my Team Samurai X1 Shop website. You guys can check it out in the link in the description box below. It's tsx1.com. And if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys check the shop in the description box below. That is tsx1.com. If you guys use my brand new grand opening code, okay, the grand opening code is tsx10. You guys can get 10% off your entire order. And I do free shipping to USA and also to Canada. And on the website, you guys will find playmats like the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon playmat and also the amazing Blue Eyes Ultimate White Dragon uh, Fuel Center right here. So you guys can get it to match the mat. This is the holographic fuel center, which divides your extra monster zone from your opponent's extra monster zone. And on the back, it has the Team Samurai X1 Fuel Center uh, logo as well. Hey guys, without further ado, let's get started with the deck profile. All right, guys, start of the monster quick. We have, of course, Triple Blue Eyes White Dragon. This card is obviously the hardest soul of the entire deck. Any Blue Eyes deck, you must play three Blue Eyes White Dragon. One day, I will acquire the three DDS Blue Eyes, I promise. So, Triple Blue Eyes, a White Dragon, definitely a must-off in the deck. Next off, Blue Eyes' best friend, you're gonna play, of course, Triple Blue Eyes, Alternative White Dragon. You reveal a Blue Eyes in your hand. Basically, smash on this card on your field, and once per turn, you can destroy one face-up uh, monster your opponent controls. And also, at the same time, any eight monsters like Blue Eyes Alternative and also Blue Eyes White Dragon, with a level one tuner, gives you access to Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon from your extra deck, which is absolutely amazing. So, Triple Blue Eyes, Alternative White Dragon, definitely a must-off in the deck. And I just really hope that this card gets reprinted really soon because I know that this card is really pricey right now and for those of you who are budget players I really hope that Konami you know can bless you guys by you know reprinting these once again but anyways alternative white dragon definitely a must off in the deck and for the last blue eyes monster you're playing in the deck is of course double dragon spirit of white dragon spirit of white is really amazing uh, the reason why this card is so good is because it's able to banish any problematic back row on the field when it's summoned which is really really awesome and a really good thing about blue eyes guys if you guys do not know blue eyes actually has an amazing matchup against the sky striker deck if you guys do not know what sky striker is sky striker is Basically, um, they have cards like Widow Anchor, okay? So Widow Anchor only targets uh, effect monsters on the field. So if you have cards like Blue Eyes White Dragon on the board, cards like Widow Anchor cannot, you know, kill your Blue Eyes whatsoever. And they also have cards like Afterburner, okay? Afterburner lets you destroy a face-up monster on the field. But since this deck plays cards like Return of the Dragon Lords, Return of the Dragon Lords can protect Blue Eyes uh, from being destroyed by cards like Afterburner, which is really, really amazing. So this overall matchup, the Blue Eyes matchup is just really superior against the Sky Striker matchup because cards like Widow Anchor cannot target this card because it's an effect monster. And let's say they did try to target something like, you know, Dragon Spirit of White, you can activate Dragon Spirit of White to basically tag out to special in Blue Eyes. So, you know, cards like Widow Anchor and also cards like uh, Afterburner can also fizzle. So this deck, guys, if you guys are considering on playing this deck for YCS, it's a really good contender because decks like Sky Strikers are going to be, you know, very uh, meta relevant and it's going to be, you know, one of the most played decks. So, you know, to counter uh, the meta, playing Blue Eyes is just absolutely amazing in my personal opinion. So, yeah, Blue Eyes is really good against the Strike Sugar matchup. Let's go off to the Spellcasters. We're going to play, of course, Triple Sage with Eyes of Blue. Sage lets you search your level 1 tuner directly from your deck to your hand. And obviously, level 1 tuners that you're playing the deck are obviously cards like the White Stone of Legend and Triple the White Stone of Ancients. These cards are definitely a must out in the deck. Sage gives you access to these cards. And basically, the White Stone of Legend, when it sends a graveyard, you basically get to search your Blue Eyes directly from your deck to your hand. And this card has an amazing toolbox effect where it's able to banish itself to add back blue eyes or also cards like blue eyes alternative from your graveyard back into your hand so if you see cards like trade in you can go you know banish this card at blue eyes activate trade and draw two more cards it's a pretty cool you know interaction that this card has in the graveyard with all the blue eyes and obviously during the end phase if this card sent to the graveyard you basically get a special amount of blue eyes directly from the deck so that's how you can be able to tutor out cards like the dragon spirit of white uh, directly from the deck to just basically banish any problematic back row so these cards just really get in the deck it's just obviously very standard next off for your supporting engine normally of course the one gold bulb this card is absolutely amazing. You can actually bring this card out directly from the deck using cards like one for one. And a huge shout goes to Alan, uh, the Blue Eyes Master. I actually got the idea from actually playing this card from him. So Alan, if you're watching this video, shout out to you. The reason why you play this card is you get access to VFD and I'll explain you guys a combo throughout the end of the video. But it's a combo where you're actually able to bring up a first turn uh, Calamities, which is really amazing. And this card is also another really good extender. It's basically another free monster on the board for cards like your Deco Talker and also, uh, you know, to actually help you synchro summon into your Blue Eyes uh, Synchro Monsters and things like that. But most importantly, it gets you access 
access to Cloud Castle and also gets you access to uh, VFD. Now after your hand traps, guys, this is what makes my deck a little bit different from the previous format builds. I like to play a double Gold Soger. Gold Soger is really amazing since uh, Gold Key is still going to be a very dominant deck. Uh, the deck just loses harder now to Gold Soger, so they must have Midbreaker or Call by the Grave to basically, you know, counter this card but, but as long as you actually ogre the firewall or also ogre the summon sorcerers you basically just win the duel so ogre is just really amazing and this is by far the most underrated hand trap in today's metagame guys dd crow flipping dd crow this card is freaking broken guys um sky striker matchup summon kagari uh, target engage, banish sorry uh goki rematch target two uh, goki monsters in the graveyard sorry dd crow banish Summon uh, Marionetter, active Marionetter's effect, tribute itself to target uh, Ultra Guys in the Grave. Sorry, DD Crow. GG. It's done. It's done. So, DD Crow is just a really amazing card. You know, it actually disrupts a lot of cards in the graveyard. It can banish any card that, you know, in your opponent's grave, which is really good. So, especially against a Sky Striker matchup, your opponent is actually relying on actually getting your uh, their Hornet to their hand, to recycle their Hornet. So, if you can use DD Crow to banish that Hornet immediately, you pretty much are more than likely just going to win that duel. Last but not least, obviously, the sexy searchable effect Veiler uh, to run off your hand traps. Effect Veiler is obviously searchable because it's level 1 light tuner, so you can add this card directly from your deck to your hand using cards like Sage with Eyes of Blue, which is really, really good. So that's pretty much it uh, for your main deck. Let's go after your spells. Next off, for your spells, for your surge cards, obviously the best surge card in your deck is True Melody of the Awakening Dragons. This card is absolutely broken. Uh, pitch in your cards like, you know, White Stone of Legends, White Stone of Ancients in the Grave. Search your blue eyes and I'll turn it directly from your deck to your hand, which is really good. Another surge card is Dragon Shrine. This is a surge card because you dump uh, blue eyes to the graveyard and then, you know, since you dump the normal monster, you basically get to dump another monster to the grave. And the, and the monster you want to be dumping is cards like the White Stone of Legend and also maybe the White Stone of Ancients, which is really good. So, card gets you access to a blue eyes directly from your deck to your hand instantly. Another surge card, same thing is the one foolish burial. These cards are all the surge cards that you're playing in the deck. So these are really good starter cards in the deck, obviously. Next off for your reborn engine, holy macaroni guys. Return of the Dragon Lords, really good. And like I said before, Sky Striker doesn't touch his deck whatsoever. Afterburner, you have this card to protect your blue eyes from getting killed. And as long as they can't target it and they have you know dead widow anchors uh, as their back row while you have a face up 3000 beat stick that Kaiba has provided for you, uh, you basically just win the duel. So Really good card. Turn the Dragon Lords. Ride back your dragons from the grave and also protects them as well. Uh, Silver's Cry, same thing. Rise back your dragons from the grave to actually help you push for more damage. Guys, 3,000 beat stake is actually pretty big. You know, Monster Reborn, really good as well. Another really good extenders. These cards are really awesome extenders. And obviously, to put the icing on the cake, uh, you won Soul Charge. Konami, when are you going to make this card secret rare? Look at that. You just ruined my set, Konami. Anyways, uh, Soul Charge, you activate this card. You win the duel. After your draw engine, you know, obviously triple trade in. Well, you're playing a dragon based deck, you can easily get access to blue eyes and sending blue eyes to the graveyard to draw two free cards. It's it's free. And then obviously the one pot of desires. Only one pot of desires, you know. Pot of desires is really good. You obviously want to search out all your cards first, send your blue eyes to the graveyard first, and then your as your last resort, obviously activate pot of desires. Getting two free cards in your hand is just absolutely amazing. And also at the same time you're playing three of each and every single copy of your blue eyes, sage, you know, ancients in the deck, so there's the probability of just banishing three of each blue eyes or three of each alternative is just very, very slim. So, Pot of Desires, very good card. Stop the counter of the meta again, you know, double cover the grave. This card is at two. Since you want to be going first, you want to, you know, have, uh, you know, the highest possibility of actually drawing one of these cards to counter your opponent's hand traps. Call the Grave is really good. Also, if you don't open up anything, you can just set this card, you know, disrupt your opponent's play, especially when they activate cards in rematch. You can just go, you know, call by the grave to rematch, uh, you know, to make rematch uh, fizzle, which is really good. And also at the same time, you can know, call by the grave, you know, the Sky Striker Ace Ray, which is very, very awesome. So call by the grave, definitely a must off in the deck. Really getting into Sky Striker matchup. Banishing Ray now is just more value now because Hornet is at one. So call by the grave. Must off in the deck. The one broken one for one. Open up this card, you make calamities. Really, really good. And the god card himself, skill drain. Uh, the best floodgate in this deck for sure, hands down. Blue eyes beat down, man. Activate skill drain, blue eyes beat down, you win the game. So that's pretty much it for the main deck. Let's go off to your side deck and you know just give you guys an idea on how you guys can side against today's meta game. And you know, to start off with going second cards, you know, going second cards are cards that evenly match. Cards like Ash Blossom and obviously cards like Drone Lockbird. Cards are really good against today's metagame right now. So the top row right here is for going second cards. Really good going first, 
and or second card cards like twin twister really awesome you know you can just set this card you know during your opponent's end phase twin twister or you guys can also play heavy storm duster as well but i like the fact that you get to discard your ancients uh, to the graveyard or blue eyes to the graveyard to you know trigger off return of the dragon lords is just pretty good and last but not least the best you know floodgate right now is goals and match your whole entire deck is light you know so goals and match is absolutely Broken. I might put Robbery of Warlords in here as well because your deck is all light and all dragon. So these cards are just really, really good. So that's pretty much it uh, for your side deck. Really good against Golki. Really good against uh, Ultra Guys. Auto win against Ultra Guys. Great against Ultra Guys. Really good against back Background Heavy Decks. True Draco, True Draco, True Draco. True Draco, True Draco. Golki, Golki, Golki. Oh man, it's just, this side deck is just very, very versatile. Goes match is really good too. You know what I mean? You just goes and match against Skyshark matchup, you win the duel. So that's pretty much for this side. Let's go after your extra deck. Your extra deck, boys. You want to play, of course, you know, double blue eye spear dragon. Definitely a must off in the deck. Uh, you know, the starter spark dragon. You know, your spear dragon targets, your black rose moonlight dragon. Might want to cut this card. Haven't made this card that, that often anymore, but. Yeah, and obviously Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, the best target for your Blue Eyes Spear Dragon. And last but not least, you won Cloud Castle. And I'll showcase you guys a combo in a second. Cloud Castle is really broken. Uh, True King Call Calamities, you make this with Cloud Castle. Basically, Cloud Castle helps you revive back Blue Eyes Spear Dragon. And then with these two cards, you make uh, Calamities, which is very awesome. Uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon Armor, Cypher Dragon, Galaxy Eyes Blade Dragon, Ga Titanic Galaxy, um, Dark Matter. And for your links, you're playing obviously the Deco Talker for your links. Hit Potionogen, this card is really good, it requires two lights, makes your blue eyes becomes 3500 attack, which is pretty good, and really great with Soul Charge, which is why I like this card so much. So you make Soul Charge, you send everything to the grave, make this guy, bad boy, activate Soul Charge, you win the duel. But last but not least, once play this card, one link Karibo, this card breaks your deck, so summon this uh, stone, send it to the grave, make link Karibo, add blue eyes, activate trade in, basically go off from there. So that's pretty much it for your extra deck. Let me showcase you guys a Cloud Castle combo real quick. Basically, for this combo to work, is you need uh, you know a way to access your glow bulb and a way to get a level eight monster on the board. This is the extra monster right here. I'll put the field center over there so you guys can see it better. And this is obviously the blue eyes uh, and the Exodia mat right here. So if you guys are interested in getting this mat, make sure you guys visit my website tsx1.com. All right, so get your field centers today. You put the field centers right there to divide the extra monster zone. So like I said, you basically need a way to get access to glow bulbs. So one for one and also foolish burial and a way to get a level eight months on the board so obviously for this situation you have blue eyes and you have alternative and let's say you do have a glow bulb in your hand or you have a foolish burial but what you do with this combo is you obviously summon alternative by revealing blue eyes normal summon glow bulb all right with glow bulb and blue eyes sent to the grave synchro summon into your sexy spirit dragon all right blue eyes spirit dragon all right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you want to tag out blue eyes spirit dragon send it to the graveyard so basically make a level, you know, eight, a level eight starters right here. Starters, uh, you know, make your starters. And now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna activate the Glow Bulb's effect to Mela card, uh, special on Glow Bulb. And with these two right here, you basically make Cloud Castle. And this is when Cloud Castle gets really interesting. When this card is synchro summon, you can target one level nine monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So then you ride back your Spirit Dragon. You have these two monsters right here. And then you overlay these two for obviously, you know, the VFD, true king of all calamities right here. The guard card himself, a really good card. All right, so that's a, you know, a really cool combo, the interaction that Glow Bob has in his deck. So that's why you play the Glow Bob. So that's a really cool, you know, combo to have access to a walking skill drain, which is really good. But the only downside about making this card is that, you know, Widow Anchor is a thing, which is very unfortunate. And also cards like Gamma is a thing. But, you know, if you don't have those and you have this big bad boy on the board, you're pretty much going to win the duel because this card, you know, it's a walking skill drain. So that's pretty much it for, you know, a unique combo that, you know, Glow Bob has, you know, interaction with Blue Eyes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. They'll be happy. Absolutely amazing. Make sure you guys got your fuel centers, your play mats, and help support the channel. That'll be really amazing. You guys made this dream come true for me. You know, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. And if you guys want to see more videos, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. And it's the same from Team Stars. I'm signing out. All right, guys. Peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game. I don't need a minute. RIP the game. Shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got to deep with it. These bozos always sneak this and they take a shots. I'm a keen with it. Like, no, no, this link.